when you release some software, you've got a choice of a few different licenses you can release that software under. And they broadly fall into two different categories, which you need to be aware of, uh, and you need to know the, just the, the high level difference uh, between the two. Two types of license that you can have is open source uh, and proprietary. Let's cover them, definitions and all that, and, uh, and what they do. First off, open source software is software that has source code distributed with it. That is it. It's not software which is free, which is a common misconception. It just has this. It's software which has its source code distributed with it. Uh, proprietary software, therefore, is software that does not have so source code distributed with it. And this means one of two things. It means that open soft source software, um, by its nature, because you're giving away all the code within it, always is free, whereas proprietary software uh, can be free or it can be paid for. But that doesn't mean that you can't make money off open source software, which is what we'll come on to in a moment. But I just want to address that common sort of misconception that people think that if it's free, it's open source. No, think about all the games that you get distributed for free that have got microtransactions in them. You haven't got the source code there. Um, they're proprietary software, people are making money off it. All right, hopefully that's cleared up. Let's go on to why you might choose to distribute something over open source versus proprietary. And then we're gonna use this thinking about like a computer game. My, why might you, um, distribute something of open source, a computer game over open source compared to proprietary. Well, if you do it as open source, if you imagine you're a very small team or maybe an individual, more people can contribute to your project for free. So you may gain access to a development team there that you wouldn't have had to begin with. If you can persuade people to work on your project, then they can do so and they will do so for free if they think it's a good project. And that lets you obviously do a lot more than you would be able to if you were working individually. So that is definitely something to consider. And that may be in the form of adding new features or maintaining it, whatever it is, um, definitely having more people on your project working for free, so long as you can manage them effectively, um, is fantastic. You can definitely do more. All right, so how could I possibly make money if this was a computer game? Well, one thing I can do is I can still sell support and advertising, so I can say, um, to somebody that, yes, you can use this code as is, but if it doesn't work for whatever reason, then you'll have to pay me a little bit money um, to for me to fix it. But more likely it's gonna be this for a computer game that you can sell advertising within that game itself. And then, you know, you've you've got a, a way to get some revenue, uh, a revenue stream. Um, big disadvantage of this is computer game and one of the main reasons why you don't get many open source computer games or modern ones anyway is that you no longer have creative control over your work so let's have a think about this when we're talking about creative control yes we can be talking about like your art which is in your game and stuff like that that'll have to be stuff that you've created individually and then everybody technically technically could own that art but also it's talking about your code you could write like the best algorithm ever that's ever been written in a uh, first person shooter game to make it the most exciting and the most efficient game that's ever been played. But because you've got it in open source, it means that somebody can come along and take it and change it and use it themselves. That is the nature of open source software. So let's go through uh, to proprietary software and advantages and disadvantages of that. One big thing is that you can sell it. Okay, so that is a big thing for proprietary software. You can sell it. You can just sell the software itself. You can go free the free model if you want to, but you have got the option to sell it. In, a, in direct contrast to open source, it means that you have creative control or the copyright uh, of your idea. It means you haven't given that away. Nobody can, can come along, steal all your work and pass it along, uh, pass it off as their own, change it a bit and pass it off as their own because you, you are protected by copyright. It also means you've got control over the source code and the distribution of it. Because like I said, somebody could come along and open source, take your um, source code and go and do something completely different and unexpected with it, um, which you might not like, but you can't do anything about it because that would be open source. But here, proprietary, you own the source code, uh, you control it, you control who has it and who you can sell it to. That is a big advantage. Disadvantage of proprietary software, well, your code, your program must work if people are playing paying for it rather, then they expect it to work. And if it doesn't, then you can get 
into big trouble. However, with open source, it's provided as is. There isn't necessarily that expectation. I mean, if you want people to ultimately use it, it will have to work, but you won't necessarily run into legal troubles, which is what you will uh, do for proprietary software. So there's some things to consider from a perspective if you're selling a computer game. I mean, if you flip this round and if you think you are a company which is purchasing some software, let, let's say you're in a school and you're buying some software for registering pupils, then you can start thinking about this other way around. If you are buying software rather than selling software, then obviously all the advantage of open source is that they're free, uh, but then you have to worry about possibly paying for support if you need it. Um, so that is an issue. But if you are buying an off the shelf sort of proprietary sort of software, then you've got that that money that you have to pay for it. I mean, if we're talking about business software, that's very rarely free when we're talking proprietary stuff. Uh, so you'd have to pay for it. But then obviously you would expect it to work. And if it didn't, you could contact the supplier uh, and tell them to fix their code and they would have a legal obligation to do so. So there's some thoughts about some di the differences between open source licensing and proprietary licensing. If you found that video useful, please hit the like button and hit subscribe to the channel. Keep learning and revising more computer science by clicking on the videos linked here.